Hello, everyone, and welcome to the fourth installment in our video series, where we unlock efficiency and explore the powerful BricsCAD surfacing features that are available in survey tools for BricsCAD. My name is Kaylee, and today I'm excited to walk you through the process of creating a surface from a point cloud. Our previous videos dived into the fundamentals of surface creation and volume calculations. In today's video, we're going to take it a step further by harnessing the BricsCAD capabilities available in survey tools for BricsCAD to transform a point cloud into a detailed surface. This process is incredibly valuable, especially when dealing with complex terrain and capturing precise topographic data. Okay, so let's jump right in. The first thing I'm going to do is open up survey tools for BricsCAD and create a new drawing. Okay, first things first, we need to import our point cloud data. You will want to navigate up here onto the point cloud section on the ribbon and then click on the attach point cloud. So the command line will ask if you want to attach a file or a reference folder. I just have a single file here, so I will type in F. And I could also use my mouse and click on whichever option um, I needed here as well. Um, so fun fact about this data set, um, it's from the Tour de France. Um, and excuse my French accent, but um, I believe it's called Col de Galibier, or Galibier um, and it's the highest point in the Tour de France. So this point cloud is already georeferenced, so I'm just going to let it come into the drawing here naturally and leave these settings as a default. So right now it just looks like an orange square, um, but you can see if I zoom in and orbit around, um, it is in fact a point cloud. So let's have a look at the visualization options just to see if we can make this data a bit more appealing to look at, or not so much appealing, even just easier to interpret. So um, right now we have this orange square, and I'm going to look for some options that provide a little bit more contrast, so we get an idea of what is happening out here in the real world. Um, so go up here on the point cloud ribbon and click on point cloud heat map. Um, so there's a few different options here. Um, I am going to choose intensity and spectrum. I'm going to turn the shadows on. Um, and then I am going to select invert it. And this is what I have found for this data set at least gives me the most contrast. So if I had a colorized point cloud with RGB values in it, I could just have chosen the scan option. Um, but for this, it's just a black, or I guess it's a gray point cloud or black and white point cloud. So um, that's when the intensity option comes in handy. So now that we can see what we're working with, let's move on to the next part of the demonstration. Okay, so let's dive into the heart of this process creating the surface from our point cloud. So in the civil workspace, I'll navigate here to tin surfaces, right click and select create. So um, if you've been watching the other videos, you're familiar with this process. Um, this is the same way that we would create any other surface. So after the command has been initiated, the software will prompt me down below to choose my data source. So I am going to select point cloud, then select the point cloud. Then it asks if I would like to simplify the surface. So I'm going to say yes here. Um, so if not, the software is going to triangulate and create a face between every single point in this data set. It would be a large and cumbersome surface that might be overkill for what the intended purpose of your project is. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, I am going to leave the simplifying numbers at 10 meter radius and a half a meter elevation to create this surface. At this step, I can have a look at the results and decide if I would like to simplify again. 
Um, so that's just where I get another opportunity to adjust simplification values um, if it was too dense for me. And then I can tell it to go ahead and create the tin surface. Okay, so now that we have our initial surface, we can fine tune the details. So this likely looks familiar if you've watched my previous videos, um, especially the surface editing. So you can see here we have a few erroneous points. We're going to go through and clean those up a little bit. And there you have it, a glimpse into the streamlined process of creating a surface from a point cloud using survey tools for BricsCAD. The intuitive BricsCAD tools coupled with the seamless integration into the main workspace make it a breeze to work with point cloud data and generate accurate surfaces. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. I hope you found it informative and inspiring. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please feel free to reach out. And don't forget to explore the efficiency of survey tools for BricsCAD yourself with a free demo from the MicroSurvey website. Until next time, this is Kaylee signing off, and I'll see you in our next video.